Dash for Cash. It's been randomly selected out of our 41 races. Always a fun part of the night. So win that cash, firstly, your race. You must be lucky enough to have been selected in those 41 races. And then you've got to be good enough to win that specific race. To take away that 100 bucks. Well, it's certainly on your mind, isn't it? I mean, if you're fortunate enough to be the one to be selected for the random race, not only were you nervous to run a PB, you now want to win 100 bucks. And you're not going to think about anything else. One of the best hairdos of the night is undeniably on the track right now. I think it might be Nathaniel Ueka that we've seen here quite a few times before. An absolute workhorse of the Milers Club. So we have 12 athletes all around that 205 mark. Give me 205 to 207, maybe even a 204 in here. Give me, give me, give me. Enough. And I haven't. There's no 204. <laughs> it's 206 to 207. Otherwise, you are not in this race. Yeah. You have to be in that mark. Otherwise, no entry for you. Well, we've got a 205 in Charlie Gunn in the St. Kevin's kit in the middle. So we'll put a target on his back. The gun. <laughs> Everyone's watching you now, Charlie. He got good bullets or blanks. Let's find out <laughs> this evening. The gunman. Right in the middle. They're just That's waiting. I um no, oh, I was about to say I could be wrong, but it looks like the um the rain has stopped. But I am wrong because it has not. Look, <laughs> as I look closer, as it turns, it's just out, not as obvious, not as heavy. It is raining. I could be wrong, but uh, <laughs> but I'm not. But I'm not. But I am. I've corrected myself, and I'm not wrong. So our men's F800 forced to just wait and cop the slight rain. No, Mick thinks it's not running. No, it's slight. I can see slight, my competitor right. out there as well on the bench. Charlie Gunn. He's just the look of... He's got the... Um, the gunman. Yeah, the, the look of a gunman. The look of a sniper. I, wanted to, oh, <laughs> I want him to do well. Ooh, and they're off. Crisp start. So let's see who gets out early. It's always interesting to see who's going to get out fastest. It looks like the man on the inside of the Blake gunman. Anderson in the all-black half-tights. And Nike top combo. Classic Ando. Classic Ando to take a charging lead early on. And Maddie classic Masara. gun just to slip in in second position. So or the gunman is going to tuck in behind Masara. Or is it Craig Sanford? I think it's Craig Sanford of so Waverley. Ah, right. A classic Craig Sanford. He loves Miler's Club. And he's so good at them as well. He's almost an expert. So he gets to the front, the gunman behind him there. On the inside of him was Blake Anderson, and on the outside is our man from Glen Huntley, I think, in James Gibbs. So, so watch. A few guns at the head of the field. <laughs> James being the main one. He's <laughs> sliding in behind James, the Sanford. Most one. <laughs> the actual one. 62, okay, they're going to need a little bit of work oh, to bang. do in Esther that second in. half. Blake Anderson, there was no gap, and it has made one with those enormous biceps. We expected someone else to go bang, but it is Anderson, no. not Gunn. The gunman fired a blank there at the bell, and it's Anderson now who starts to gap the field, and they're going to try and get pulled through there, I think, by our man from Williamstown, and that is going to be the Shield Muir. So Muir now, he leads about a string of six athletes who have to go as wide as going into Doncaster to be able to get to the front of the pack. It's our man from Deacon now who's going to try and chase down Blake Anderson, and the gunman, he's caught on the inside rail. Check out, oh, who Ooh. is it? It's Muir. And Bradshaw, they're going to do all they can to bridge that gap. And they are doing it ever so slightly. But Anderson is going to enter the straight ahead of the rest. Will he have the wheels to hang on? Has he gone too early? Muir. Muir is charging hard. Bradshaw is doing all he can. But is Muir going to take the win from Anderson? Anderson too strong oh. in the end. Going through in a 204-205. Maybe just... Just a little bit slow on that first lap yeah. to collect PBs for the field. Anderson obviously um, had enough waiting around and paid off for him because he collected a tidy couple of second PB and held off the rest of the field. Muir did pretty well as well in uh, charging home in second for a 204-205, collecting himself a second PB, but might be no dice for the rest of the field. Hell of a finish. Hell of a finish. Almost a blanket finish there. I thought there, Muir yeah, was definitely going to get it. Yeah, I thought, again, similar. A couple more metres. That race is well and truly over. But it's been some Blake unreal Anderson. racing. Look at that. Oh, the dip. The dip. 
drop your gym program as well, Blake Anderson.